Hello guys, once again, the Simon Ekba-led Biafra government in Ezai has accused Nigeria governments of continuously evaluating the rights of Indigo, okay? Uh, he said this yesterday, and I, I believe the government is also aware that uh, this is one of the reasons why they are agitating in the Southeast. Uh, I recall uh, some time ago, Nambikano was saying something in the when it was when Nambikano, you know, was uh, addressing uh, some issues in the court. He said it's because of marginalization, the ill treatment against the Igbos, you know, that was what brought about the agitations in the southeast region. You know, they want to you know feel at home when they are in their region because they cannot be in nigeria and they are being looked down like they are nobody you know you see when you have issues eh, and uh, you think um sidelining the issues is the best way of you know treating that wahala you are making a big trouble big net trouble for yourself because you have succeeded in creating more problems to yourself uh i always tell people when when you see things that people someone is telling you see this thing i don't like it this this this, and that don't just like wave it you, you understand the way out is sit and discuss about that thing that is just the way out nigerian government pretended like nothing is happening so are they still going to deny the fact that the Igbos have been marginalized? Because these are the facts. These are the facts. Since these people are agitating for their freedom, the government should sit in a round table and discuss, why do you want to go? Then listen to them. That is the best way, you know, to go about issues. But no, the government are not treating that matter this way. They think that going after agitators, and all that you know we silent them but you see they have just succeeded in giving them new wine to agitate they never thought that today simon Ekba is still going to be a problem to them because when the extraordinary rendition mazinam the canoe from kenya to nigeria they think that is going to end biafra agitations in the southeast but you see that action alone has increased increased the agitation in the southeast. They never knew that Simon Ekpa today we give them tough time. So guys, the Simon Ekpa led Biafra government in Ezai has claimed that the southeasterners have continued to receive huge treatment from Nigeria despite keeping faith in the country. Ekpa who made this assumption on his ex handle told Igbos holding various positions in the Nigerian government that they had gotten nothing but a continuous violation of their fundamental basic human rights. He said the most viable option for the people was to key into the Biafra project, join hands with your fellow Biafrans in exercising your inalienable right to self-determination to self-determination, it is a moral obligation and, most importantly, a fight for self-preservation. He said, why urging the Igbos to back this December of the restoration of independence of Biafra on November 29 to December 3rd, 2024, in Finland? He said that over 50 million Igbos, okay, have in the past months legally voted for the Biafra referendum from the Nigerian government. He told the Igbos, you have served under Nigeria and you are well, well aware that the establishment of Nigeria as an artificial experiment by the British has done nothing but the continuous violation of our fundamental basic human rights. For this reason, Joining hands with your fellow beer friends in exercising your inalienable right to self determination is a moral obligation and, most importantly, a fight for self preservation. The step we are taking for the actualization of our independent states are by 
an internationally recognized way of referendum. President Bola Maitinubu earlier in the week pointed, appointed Biaka okay, Ojuku, wife of the late Biafran warlord, okay, Odumegu, uh, Chukwe Meka Odumegu Ojuku as a member of his cabinet. The development is seen as one of the moves by the president to get the Southeast. However, Senator Eni Naya Abaribe described the sack of the the Women Affairs Minister Uju Kennedy, okay, and the subsequent appointment of Bianca as renewed Shege on the Igbos by Tinubu administration. So, guys, I'm dropping it here. Kindly drop your comment below the comment section. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Share your thoughts a big. Like us. Like us. Subscribe to this channel if you have not. Thank you and bye for now.